Hey folks, welcome to my channel. I'm Kurt aka Vitruvian Gamer and today in this foul weather I will be doing my next playthrough. So let's get back inside and see what I'm going to play for you today. Okay, back safely inside. But as you can see, the game we are going to play doesn't mean that we are safe at all because as you might have already heard, this game is very, very hard to beat and I am taking the challenge to try and do this on camera. Well, yes. And the special thing is that this time we will be playing a special scenario, one that you can get on the, the portal website and I, you can do a print and play version of it on Board Game Geek. That's that's the one that I have, and I am talking about this one. This is his story, the story about this guy, Mr. Livingston. So today I will be Stanley, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, Stanley. And I'm going to try and find the missing Dr. Livingstone. Alright, so this is a special scenario and I've set everything up already or as good as everything. So special about this is of course the scenario itself. So it's racing Dr. Livingstone and well we have 10 days, 10 days with rain to find this guy. And of course we have a few special rules which I'm not going to explain all, but we'll see them as they come. So we have our starting tile here at the beach where we arrived and we have no camp of course, yeah we have uh, the token to represent that this is our base but it doesn't mean much and I will be playing the explorer and I am joined by Friday who is hopefully going to help me. I still need to put a wound marker on him. And I am joined by my faithful pink dog who I will be calling Ignasi for this playthrough. Okay, so, and I will be Stanley. All right, I also have these two random items, so I start the game with uh, the pipe and tobacco and the pistol, which both I can use twice. So this one I can use for two uh, morale tokens and this one I can use twice to give me some weapon boost for, for a short while. Okay, also different about setup is that morale starts at one, so that's good for us. And also the inventions are a little bit different. Normally we start with a set of uh, basic inventions that we can learn or invent. Uh, but this time we already start with the fire, the rope and the knife uh, to our availability. And that means also our weapon status is at one over there. And we can try and make a sack, a basket and or a lantern as well okay so what else is uh, different well here we have these four special tokens here uh, which i'm going to shuffle now these are se a separate stack of tokens for this game so normally it is also shuffled in that one but this is a special one and depending on which we draw when we find a campsite with or without dr livingstone the story will uh, be different. That's a very interesting different part of this scenario. All right, I've set up all the decks. We have the starting thread, which is not really a thread, this, uh, the starting one, that's good. I've did the random event deck and there we have the animal deck or the beast deck, the mystery deck and all the other inventions which we can try to invent uh, to our choice by doing some brainstorming and some more tokens over there so this is the setup for this uh, scenario so let's see and join me while I trace Dr. Livingstone 
So, it's 1871. A few years back, the famous scientist David Livingstone and the members of his expedition got lost in the heart of Africa. After six years, people in the civilized world received a letter from the scientist. He's broken, seriously ill, and he says goodbye to the world. A rescue mission is organized immediately. The scientist has to be found and rescued. It's our assignment. Well, it's my assignment. So, the goal of this scenario is we have to discover five island tiles with this totem symbol on it. And as a special action, we can examine the campsite. And then, well, after the examining, we get uh, to do s some different stuff. And after this, uh, examining the fourth campsite, the players will now know that our final task, which we will have to face after examining the fifth totem or the fifth campsite in order to win. So that depends on the story. And you will see more about that later. Okay. So, let's start. So as you can see, first, uh, some special rules, maybe. Yeah, we can brainstorm. That means we can uh, do this action and discard three morale tokens to uh, choose an invention card from uh, the stack beside the board. That's an invention we can try to make. And we can examine the campsite to, well, see if Dr. Livingston is there. If we draw an event with a book, we have some mist, making it difficult or more difficult to explore. And when we found a totem, yeah, we know it might be the campsite of Dr. Livingston. And uh, we have rainy weather, and that means Oops, focus. That we have 10 days of rain, so in the weather phase, we have to roll the orange rain die, which still can be negated if we build some roof or whatever. Okay, so let's go to the board and let's start playing this scenario. Yeah, for all you that haven't played Robinson yet, uh, so this game is, uh, well, this scenario has 10 rounds, 10 days, and each day has these six uh, phases. And we always start with the first one, which is the event phase, but in the first round there is no event phase, so we can ignore that. Then we see this symbol here, number two, and it's also very easy because on the board it has the same symbol and the same number here. It means it's the morale phase, and depending on the number of the morale track, the starting player, which will be me for the rest of the game because I'm all alone with the Friday in Ignasi. So this will mean that I get one of these. This is a morale token, and this morale token can help us in different ways. And for example, it can help us in with one of our four abilities, which is Child of Fortune, which allows us to reroll green action dice. Reconnaissance, well, that uh, allows us to do some better uh, tile drawing for the island tiles here. Then we have some motivational speech. We can discard uh, three of these morale tokens to increase the morale. And we can do scouting, and that means we can discard some morale tokens to draw two of these special tiles over there. And we can choose one and discard the other. So, quite powerful, but it costs lots of morale, and that is most of the time very difficult to gather in this very hard game. So, that was phase two, the morale phase, and then we go to phase three. And as you can see, that's over there. And phase three means that we get all kinds of resources from where we are and we are here. And on the tile you can see the symbol of some wood and of a fish. And that means we get one wood token and one food token. So in this game, we have these two. So the yellow one is food and the brown one is wood, but let me do something, I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back and as you can see, now we have some real wood and real food because, well, Mr. Ignacy Cevicek, the designer of this game, has also designed Imperial Settlers over there, which comes with these great apple and wood tokens. So, let's use those as we can, because we can. And it looks a little bit nicer, of course. Okay, so that was the phase three and then we go to the action phase and the action phase is where we take our workers and in this case we have two workers of ourselves and we have one of Friday and one with the dog and we will put them on all these different kinds of actions and well let's think what we will be doing okay so first thing we will do of course quite important. I will take Ignacy with me and we are going to mm, yeah we're going to explore here and well first of all I forgot one thing so in the solo variant <coughs> excuse me <coughs> at the beginning of the morale phase because I if you're playing solo you gain one morale here so that means I can take one more of these which is very important and then uh, I'm going to send Friday Friday you can send him on an errand alone if you want so I'm going to send him to camp and I'm going to explore some more myself okay so that's the action phase but the, this uh, action phase has also two parts so the first one is you place your workers on the board on the difficult different actions and then we are going to resolve all these actions in a certain order and we start with the order and that starts here with a thread so we can see if we have put someone here to do these things this is not the case then we go see if there's some hunting and nope building so we are not going to build we are not going to gather and but we are going to explore first let's do this one and what does this mean so I'm here with two people or with me myself and a dog and that means if you go explore with two and you have no modifiers at all you immediately succeed at this effort so we take back the tokens here and we get to place the top card here so like we can see so we have discovered a river and you can see two more items here or two more icons and this one means that we well we notice there are some animals around here so we take the top animal card of the beast deck here we do not, do not get to see what it is, but we place it here and from now on we can hunt this creature. But we have no idea what's roaming in these parts of the island. Alright, so we have another fish symbol, so if our camp would be here we can we get some fish, some food. Well, in this case, some apples. And as you can see, there are three of these symbols on the card. That means we discovered three of these tokens which go right here so this means it's we discovered it but we did not bring it to our camp yet these things we gathered at our camp other base but this ones well we still have to bring it to well our base but of course we already know what we found of course so later we will take a treasure home and well we have this token which we can use to increase our morale and we have this one if we have the pot we can use this to heal some wounds okay so these tokens when they arrive home we can uh, keep them until we want to use them uh, but if there are also tokens which uh, give us food and food at the end of the day will decay will rot away if we don't use it so if we get tokens with food on it uh, we have to use it or 
the food goes away as well. All right, so this was our first explore action, but as you can see, I'm exploring some more, but this time I'm all alone. Ignacy the dog, he was tired of all this exploring and sniffing for the creatures around there and I had to go alone in the afternoon and that means that we have to roll these dice. So as soon as you're all alone, you have to roll these dice and you have three kinds of dice here. This is the result die to see whether you succeed or fail at the action you're doing. So if you get this V symbol, you succeed, but if you do throw this one, you do not succeed, but you get some uh, morale tokens as a well uh, compensation. Next die we have is, uh, well, let's do this one first, is this one. So if you roll a blank side, nothing happens, but if you roll this symbol, well, you get a wound while doing your exploring. And the last die is the adventure die. So as long as you throw the blank die, nothing happens. But if you throw a question mark, and as you can see, five of the six sides has a question mark, we have to draw an adventure card and, well, see what happens while we are doing some exploring. So, let's do this. So we have these three dice, which we have to roll, and let's see what will happen. All right, so I threw every symbol I could. So we succeed, but we got a wound, and that means our wound track here, so our token here goes one up or one down. We succeed, but we also have to draw an adventure card, so let's do that first. And we have oh, the wrong track. You got lost and you don't come back ho come back for, to the camp from the night for the night. I'm sorry, my English. Alright, let's do this again. You got lost and you don't come back to the camp for the night. At the beginning of the next day, you return to the camp with some wood. All right, good and bad news. So we have to execute the night phase outside the camp. At the beginning of the next round, before the event phase, we get two wood. Uh, well, we were going to sleep outside anyway, so it's not that bad. And we find some wood, so, well, this could have been worse. All right. So, but we succeeded at our exploring and as you can see we are in some mountains with this lovely waterfall okay and we were here so what else do we got so this place gives us wood but there's also some creatures roaming around here so we add a new card here to the top of the stack here and well we have one more discovery token There we go, which is, okay, a token that could raise our palisade, which we do not have yet. And as you can see, there's this tent symbol on the card. That means uh, if we stay the night on the, we have, if we make our camp over there, we have some shelter, uh, which we do not have at this moment, because of course the, we had the wrong track. Okay, so that was this uh, exploring and next thing we have here is this uh, this action we can do that means rearranging or arranging or cleaning the camp and if we go there the guy who does this gets two morale tokens and he raises morale so thank you Friday so first of all we advance the morale track here and we give Mr. Friday two of these morale tokens. So Friday has also a special ability here. So he can at any time discard two tokens to reroll any action die once. And as you can see, if he throws the dice and throws this question mark, he does not get an adventure, but he gets a wound. He does not need shelter. He does not need food. He is not affected by rain or snow. He is the ultimate Robinson Crusoe warrior. Okay, so all actions are done. Everyone came back to camp, which means all this stuff goes 
to S here. And now we could choose to use one of these. Maybe we can do this, but I'm not sure yet. Let's think about this. Well, and we might as well use it. So this means we get to draw a treasure card. Now, this deck, the mystery deck, there's there are creatures in it, treasures and traps. But if you are looking for a certain kind of card, so in this case a treasure card, you get to draw cards until you draw the right uh, kind of card. So let's use this token and let's draw some cards until... Oh, we found a treasure and they are, well, we found a cave with furs on our way back home. The walls are covered with wolf and bear furs. You take those furs to your camp, get two fur, which is very good. Very, very good indeed. So we use these orange cubes as fur. Sadly enough, Imperial Settlers does not come with fur tokens. So we will be using the ones in Robinson. Okay, so we have some fur and that might be interesting because for to make a sack we need some fur, so that might be useful. Or to make some shelter we could use fur as well, as you can see, with two players, but also with solo variant. It costs two wood or one fur to upgrade, well, to make a base camp or to build a roof or a palisade. So we can always use some fur. Nice. Okay, we go to number five here, and that's the weather phase. So we check the uh, scenario to see which weather there is, but in this game is always the orange die, so it's always raining. And as you can see, we have, I think, uh, four sides with, well, three sides with rain, uh, two sides with double rain, and one side with snow. So, let's see, we have one rain here, it means in this scenario we get one damage to the first player, well, which is me, of course, so Stanley gets another wound and that's it for the weather phase. And next we go to the night phase where we, well, we have to eat, so every player has to eat one food, not that difficult because we already had one food, so I paid this food here, so we have had some dinner and we get the chance to move our camp if we like to. Now I could move here, so we have shelter for the night, but well, since I was at the wrong track and have to sleep outside, I think we will move here, giving us more options to explore in the next rounds. Okay, so there's one more thing of course, and that's the sleeping outside. And sleeping outside means, well, it's cold outside, and it means we get another wound. So, first round, first day, and we already have three wounds. Yeah, that's how this game goes. So, this was the first round, and well, we have not discovered any iron tile with the totem symbol yet. That's a bummer. We did find some uh, fur, some stuff we can use later. We did get our morale completely at the good side and next turn before the event phase we get two wood so we have some good things as well okay that's it for round one i think i'm going to stop here and well thank you for watching this first video uh, it was more of an introduction of course next time we will be playing one or two more or maybe three more rounds of this playthrough of Robinson Crusoe, Adventures on the Cursed Island and Tracing Dr. Livingstone. Thank you all for watching and I see you guys in the future.
feel free to subscribe, to share this video, to like the video, to comment some things below. Find me on YouTube, well, you've already found me here. Find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Board Game Geek. I'm known as the Vitruvian Gamer. Thank you all and see you in the future. Bye bye!